Toshiba eStudios, what are they, what model do I have, and is it networked? This is an example of a Toshiba eStudio. You've probably referred to it as the copier. When you wanted to make copies, you probably made certain the bottom had fresh paper in it, you loaded your originals in the top, and you picked up your finished copies on the side. As a multifunction peripheral, this device can do a lot more than simply copy. It can scan, it can file to hard disk, and several other features. What we're going to concentrate on is its ability to scan. Remember that Homebase is the series of software products provided by North Carolina's Department of Public Instruction and the Winston-Salem Forsyth County School System. SchoolNet is one of those software products in the Homebase catalog. And one of the things that SchoolNet allows you to do is to create assessments and deliver those assessments. ScanIt is an application inside of SchoolNet which allows you to scan bubble answer sheets. Using the application ScanIt, it can communicate with the eStudio and proceed to scan in the bubble sheets. What ScanIt then does is it scores each of the bubble sheets and then enters the scores into Gradebook automatically. Well, if you're a teacher, you're probably sold and you're ready to start using SchoolNet and its assessments by way of ScanIt and your Toshiba eStudio. But we first need to get your tech facilitators involved. For our tech facilitators, we need you to let us know the following information. The first thing we need to know is the model number. Notice the arrow is pointing to the location of where that is, and zooming in, it would look something like this. The next bit of information that we need is the Toshiba Business Products Equipment ID number. In this example, you see it's 41151. The last piece of information we need to get from the machine is on its right-hand side, and that is, is this machine networked or not? When looking on the right-hand side of the Toshiba eStudio, there are two different examples being shown right now. On the left is a network cable which is indeed plugged into the eStudio, and on the right-hand side is where this particular machine is not networked, and you can tell by the absence of a network cable. In review, the example on the left is a networked eStudio, and on the right is an eStudio which is not networked. We'll be working with your tech facilitator to make certain that your eStudio is networked and able to communicate with ScanIt. We'll also be working with your curriculum coordinator to identify which teachers will be trained to use this process.